And three, two, one. Welcome back to Amazing Adaptions with Mr. Burns. Today we're looking at cockroaches, which are some of the disturbingly most versatile and adaptive creatures on this planet. Gross little things that they are. Let, and in fact, it's because they're so gross, that's why they've adapted so well. Part of their grossness is uh, due to their adaptive nature. Let's have a look at some of the things uh, cockroaches can do and, and, then, and how they've adapted in order to survive in this world. Guys, cockroaches will eat almost anything. You say it, they will basically eat it. I've got some great food down there. That's wonderful. Okay, I think you'd probably eat that. Here's some of the things you probably wouldn't eat. Okay, I don't think you would eat beer, not yet anyway, nor would you eat leather, glue, hair, starch in book bindings, flakes of dried skin, or any rotting organic matter, or wallpaper and stamps. And what they really like on stamps is glue. Guys, cockroaches can eat just about anything. You can't. You can't. But the capacity to eat and digest and live on just about anything makes the cockroach a very versatile creature in many, many different environments, particularly your home, because there's always little bits of rubbish and things lying around that the cockroach might just enjoy feasting upon. So number one, adaptability. Uh, the adaptive nature of the cockroach is its capacity to eat almost anything. It's incredible diet. And it's probably a good idea to revise just what an adaptation is, guys. An adaptation, okay, adaptations are physical or mental characteristics that animals and plants have that allow them to thrive in their environment. And this one's a physical characteristic. The cockroach can digest and eat and live off just about anything, all those gross things I just put up uh, on the screen before. Let's look at the next adaptation uh, of the cockroach that allows it to survive and thrive in its environment. Okay guys, point number two is the cockroach's hardiness, how well it can last. In fact, it can go for months without food. So we looked at all that horrible food and the good food that the cockroaches likes to eat. Uh, many types of cockroaches can actually go for months without food. Its, its body is able to function just on food it's had months ago. It can just last and last. What a hardy creature. If there's an environment in which food, for some reason, uh, becomes very scarce, not our homes, <laughs> but other environments, cockroaches can exist for months before they have to eat again. Wow. Another uh, adaption of cockroaches is their size. Because they are so small and so slim, usually, they can live anywhere. Uh, they can live in this microwave. They just go in the little cracks behind the microwave and they actually really like the warmth. They live in there. They can live behind the fridge. They can go into a little tiny crack in a wall and they can breed in there and have a huge nest. Cockroaches are so small and so slim, they can fit into almost anything. It's really quite gross, the sorts of places that cockroaches can uh, find and, and make a home in. They love printers. They love anything that's slightly warm because they're so small, their size is a wonderful adaptation that allows them to live anywhere. And here we are with our third uh, adaptation that allows the cockroach to survive and thrive in, in the environment it really it shares with us, our homes and our surroundings, is the cockroach's nocturnal nature. And if you don't know what that means, that means that it comes out at night time, really. You don't often see cockroaches during the day. Mostly they come out at night and they generally sleep or rest uh, during the day. And of course, because uh, they're sleeping at night time, they can build up to they can build up to great numbers and, and largely uh, remain hidden uh, from you uh, because you don't see them. Uh, and then by the time you actually work out you've got cockroaches in your house, hey, it might be a few months down the track and by then they're bred and they've had lots of little cockroach babies. And so the cockroach population can grow and grow and remain undetected uh, for a long time and, uh, because it comes out mostly at night. So by the time you actually spot a cockroach in your home or around your area, there's bound to be plenty more. So even if you, if you kill that cockroach, there's going to be heaps more because they've had time to hide and grow in their nest. Ooh, what a, what a, what a gross thought. 
Okay guys, and this is the last thing I want to talk about cockroaches, and this is actually point number five. I'm aware I referred to the last one as point number three. I think I've covered five adaptations that the cockroach have, and one incredible adaptation that cockroaches have is their capacity to reproduce. Reproduction, you can see cockroaches can basically produce up to 400 offspring in one year. 400! Now, humans can more or less make one per year, unless we have twins, okay? Humans can make one baby per year. Cockroaches can have up to 400 babies per year. Gross. Makes them really hard to kill, because if you kill one, there's 399 left, okay? And this is a marvelous adaptation, because it allows the cockroach species to thrive, because they're so hard to kill, because there's so many of them. So even if you kill 399, you missed one, it can still grow and have babies. So, well done, Mr. Cockroach. A very highly adapted animal for success in thriving in its environment. Well, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for being part of my the amazing adaptions of the common cockroach or the various species of cockroach. There's the acknowledgements. There's the, the, the pictures I used. Okay, thanks for being a part of it. And whoops a daisy, couldn't help but notice I'd spelt acknowledgements incorrectly. And there's, of course, the correct spelling of acknowledgements. Okay, thank you, guys.